It's a great day to be alive. How you doing folks? How are you today? It's me and here is your host. I am. Welcome to this thing that I have not named. All right, so today as the title should suggest, I'm gonna talk about legalizing weed and why it's not really legalized. What are we up to, 20 states? 20 states have now legalized. What about the rest? What about the rest? And the rest of the world for that matter. Importantly for me, Australia and the UK. As I live in Australia and I'm from the UK, those two affect me more so than the rest. And if you think you're in the clear America, think again. Even in the likes of Colorado, you can be fired from your job for having cannabis in your system. It's an unjust punishment for something that isn't a crime. When alcohol, alcohol is such a destructive drug and it's sold on every corner, I don't get it. Take this for an example, uh, if you're a police officer or you're a normal person driving to a barbecue, you're driving to a barbie, I'm in Australia, uh, and your boots filled with beer. You've got three crates, I'd say, so 90 beers, 30 a crate. Police officer pulls you over and checks the boot. Now, his response to this could be, very easily could be, oh, you're in for a big one tonight, are you, mate? All right, drive on. There's no judgment from that police officer for the way. Well, there might be a little bit of judgment, but legally he just can't do anything. Now, for example, let's swap that over and make it the same amount, only it's weed in the boot. It's a completely different ball. Game. Get that, get that in the car, can't mind you, you piece of scum. You're never gonna see the light of day. It's a completely different ball game as to what would happen for something that is less, in my mind, and scientifically less destructive than that other drug. People talk about addiction, but it's been proven it's no more addictive than a cup of coffee. The people that get addicted to weed are the same people that get addicted to Twinkie bars or Snickers bars, dime bars, depending on what country you're in. You can die from eating too much salt. You can't die from eating too much weed. It's just not recommended. It's recreational. It's enjoyable. And on top of that, it's got benefits. So the University of Virginia uh, has a professor called Roberto Di Lorenzo, and he did a study on rats that had epileptic seizures. And giving them cannabis oil, the cannabis oil is their relaxation and excitement and binds the cells in the brain to make them more common, giving them 10 hours of no epileptic fits. Now the American government have come out uh, with information attaining to the prevention of sp cancer spread through cannabis oil, I will repeat that, preventing spread of cancer, that big disease that affects so many people, yeah, that one. Of course, it helps pain and relieves nausea, which helps chemotherapy. It'll slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease in the elderly. And no one has ever died from purely smoking weed. The effects compared to the likes of alcohol are so minimal inside of, unless you watch Nine Secret. The marijuana will make you eat your baby. Her argument makes the weed against argument seem ridiculous. Like, All part of Nancy Grace, because really she's helping us. That bitch is crazy. Stop HIV from spreading around the body. It helps with opiate addiction. It combats depression and anxiety and ADHD. Marijuana will make you dig up your dog and eat its dead earwax. It can treat epilepsy and Tourette's. It can help with neurological damage, prevent blindness from glaucoma. It's connected to having lower insulin levels with people with diabetes and much, much more. So there are side effects to weed. I would be ridiculous to leave them out. Albeit right now, I don't remember what they are. Ah, short-term memory loss. But at the end of the day, just wait. And then that short-term memory will become a long-term memory. And then you'll remember it. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Temporary hallucinations. Damn, give me them. I've never had a hallucination on weed. Paranoia. Temporary paranoia or extreme paranoia. I do get paranoid from time to time. As does everyone, though. Is paranoia such a bad thing? Because at the end of the day, sometimes people are out to get you. With a lot of these depression, anxiety, suicidal tendencies, I do believe though, I'm no scientist, I'm no doctor, that there is a predisposed mindset, not something you can just pick up weight and start smoking and you will become depressed or you will become suicidal. No, you're wrong. If you smoke weed, you'll kill yourself. Depression is something that's banded about a lot. I myself, I think I'm a kind of upbeat guy, so it's never been something that's actually affected me. I definitely think there is an argument there that if you do have a predisposition to the likes of depression or anxiety, it might not be the most beneficial thing to take. Depression can lead to suicide. It's definitely not something I would take lightly. But so in saying that, the other side effects are side effects to be taken lightly. For when you do Google the side effects or Bing it or Yahoo it, I don't want to show any 
you will find that the argument against are like me and Nancy Grace. They're just the most ridiculous argument. So breathing problems, I can understand that one. If you're smoking weed, you may get breathing problems, especially if you're mixing tobacco with it. But eat it, dum-dum. Eat it. Another side effect is altered senses. For example, seeing brighter colors. <laughs> That's horrible. Altered sense of time, it definitely happens to me. I always lose time. Changes in mood. Yes, I go from being angry to being happy. Or I go from being excited to somewhat level. Impaired body movement, 100%. I do become lazy. I do lie on a couch. So yep, my body movements do become impaired. Okay, so I'm gonna finish with a story uh, about a man in Australia called Adam Kozler. Adam Kozler's daughter was diagnosed with a ne uh, with neuroblastoma. Any parent, he sought to do whatever he could. Find studies, find cannabis oil could help. When he tried, lo and behold, they actually did help. She started to eat again, started to feel better. He said he could see life in her again, and she started to laugh. Adam was then arrested and does face up to 20 years imprisonment, restricted from even having access to her or finding out about her care. Stories like these hurt my heart. They fuck with me for weeks. I hate injustice in the world and there's no MPs that stand for it. You know, there's no one I can look at. What can I do? What can we do? Like all I can do is make this video. Essentially, that's all I can do. There's no one I can talk. There's no MP out there standing up for a lot of the things I feel need to be stood up for. So if you agree with me or you even like, you just like the canny way I talk, please like, subscribe and share this video and you'll be doing me a favor. All right, folks. So that is it. Love you and leave you. See you next time.